What do you think about when you look at these pictures? What do you notice about how the composition has been structured? How do they make you feel? They were taken by a British photographer called Faye Godwin. Godwin was born in 1931 in Germany to a British diplomat and an American artist with Scottish ancestry. As a child, she enjoyed going for long walks in Austria and in Britain in the 1950s, she joined the Ramblers Association and became president from 1987 to 1990. She married a publisher in 1961 and became interested in photography in the 60s through taking photographs of her children. But it was her divorce in 1969 that marked a huge turning point in her life and career. She began to set out on long journeys to wild and remote parts of the countryside, camera in hand, sometimes with company, but often alone, which was a huge deal for a woman back in the 1970s. If you look at what was going on in history at the time, you could say she may have been influenced by the women's liberation movement. She was fascinated by the power of the dramatic and threatening landscapes. Her photographs document the vastness and emptiness of the space, illuminated by the sunshine hitting the hills, fields, rock faces, and reflecting off of the rivers and sea. The visual elements of her photographs are black and white. There are a wide range of tones, but these are heavily contrasted lights and darks. One of the cameras she used was a Leica, which was well known for picking up high contrasts and textures of landscapes. The compositions she captures are playful. They're highly structured with lots of sharp edges, clearly defined shapes, almost like sections that are piled on top of one another, with big lines dividing these up. The contrast gives us a sense of drama. This type of composition doesn't happen by accident. She's not just taking photos of what is there just willy-nilly, she has to really look for elements of the landscape that really stand out to her. Take this photograph for example. The main focal point is the rut jutting up out of the ground. The angle of it is directly parallel to the dry stone wall that is climbing up the mountain. As we follow the wall down and along the crest of the hill, we can see it forms a sort of Z shape as it touches the stone. I wonder how many people would have walked by and noticed the same thing. She also liked exploring scale, the size of something small and insignificant compared to something else which perhaps in reality is much larger. For example, this rock on the ground is massive in the picture compared to the mountain in the background. What do you think Godwin found interesting about it? The rule of thirds is a compositional technique that's used in photography and is particularly helpful with landscape photography. Some of you may have seen this before or have a setting to show this as a grid on your camera. You have to imagine that the viewfinder of your camera is divided into thirds, both vertically and horizontally. The rule of thirds helps you to place certain aspects of your shot, for example the horizon line. It could line up along the top third or bottom third depending on the ratio of sky to land that you want or what other interesting features you want to capture. You can use any points along the lines or nine sections to help you structure your composition. It's quite good for helping you think about where your main focal point is going to be. Let's see how Faye Godwin uses the rule of thirds in one of her photographs. We can see that the mountains in the distance form the top third and the wall and grass is on the bottom third. The beginnings of the stone structure is in the bottom right corner and goes in a diagonal line to the middle left, with what looks like a lake in the middle right corner. Although the rule of thirds is a useful compositional technique, don't worry about getting too bogged down with it. Godwin did use this, but she was playful with it. She was mainly concerned with capturing unusual shapes, angles, lines, sections of texture, high contrast and scale. So just get yourself out on a walk, take lots of photographs, and see what captures your eye. I look forward to seeing your outcomes. Don't forget to edit them so you've got black and white and high contrast images.